Okay, so <clears throat> sometimes life puts you in pickles, right? The way I like, I mean, I like pickles. But not everybody likes pickles. So our truck got totaled. Not a big deal. Stuff happens. And then we had to borrow <laughs> my brother's truck. And, uh, it broke so we're gonna fix it today we're gonna fix it clutch master cylinder right there not a big deal and he also had the pedal assembly right there so i'm gonna go ahead and throw those that on for him at the same time because he is letting me borrow the truck so i feel like it's proper Right? I thought I'd bring you guys with me to try to work under here. All right, let's do this. I'm just going to start with the obvious, easiest. And I'm going to remove these bolts on the back of the clutch master cylinder first. Oh, what a tight spot, right? So I think. It would be easier to do this and then move this thing over where I can get this pin out. There's a pin right there. On the back side, it's got to come out so that hose can come out. And uh, yeah, I'm going to start working on those. <clears throat> All right, we have got the clutch master cylinder removed and we took that pin out with a tiny little outer wrench. And uh, so, tiny little hammer and tiny little pliers. We got it out. So now we're gonna work on the, the pedal assembly. Oh, it'd be real cool is if they was like, you know what, this part goes to that part. So we're gonna make the bolts and the nuts the same size. But I doubt it. But I doubt it. No, it's just a little one size bigger. Dang, if I ain't lucky, I just need a one size bigger. Whatever. <laughs> All right, so I've got my Nash 16th. I'm going to ratchet four bolts right there. And I got two up in the innards uh, up there at the top. I'll show you later. All right, just to clarify, these are the two bolts that I've already removed. that are the 9 16ths. I have two more here inside this is the brake assembly that pops over this with a, a pin that comes out and there's also two bolts here on the upper side i don't know what size those are yet but i'll take you on this journey with me all right so as you can see the bolt that i'm going for is uh right there you see that black bolt that's what i'm going for it turns out it's a 14. Alright, so it turns out that these two were tens, 10 millimeters. So, got those out. Now I'm going to remove the brake assembly piece right here. Don't know what it's called. Figure it out someday. And uh, I'm going to see what I can do about getting the old one out of the precarious position it's in. And then I'll show you what I do. Alright, so it turns out I'm going to have to release this bolt and this bolt and remove this steering knuckle completely out of the way so that I can get it out and over. Everything is disconnected except for this air hose. I've got to get this air hose out. It goes to the brake booster. Pretty sure. Let's double check. Black and red hose comes out. Right here, comes out right there, out of the firewall. Can you see my finger? Right there, and goes right here. I'm not sure what this is. I'll look it up. Okay, we gotta take this piece off of the old pedal assembly, and we gotta put it on the new one. All right, now we have everything ready to go back in 
and then we can put the clutch master cylinder back in. And we can see how it works. Thank you, babe. Uh, now we have got all this stuff put back. I get to plug in this brake uh, assembly plug. I'm going to put the upper steering knuckle back on. I'm just making names up for stuff, guys. And uh, I got to reattach the gas pedal up there because it came loose. I know what the gas pedal is, you know. Uh, I think we got this on the inside. Now let's uh, let's check out the outside. All right, guys and gals, there we've got the new master cylinder for the clutch installed. Nice and tight. Plug our stuff back up here. You just got to put your hands on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, and now we are going to install the push rod into the cylinder and attach it to the clutch arm. gonna go this way That right, okay. So we're gonna go like this with the bobs out so that when it goes on, it locks. Right? Okay, so that's about all that it was moving. So we're going to fill it up with fluid, and we're going to see what happens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we have got that, we have got to get up under here and bleed the clutch. No, not yet. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, on the road again. Clutch is working, baby. All right, this has been a wonderful time spending with you guys. And if you look at if you look at the time, it, it didn't even take like 20 minutes. This was awesome. 